Hey guys, it's Ross. In today's video I'm going to be teaching you how to make one-way platforms. So I've got one here already just to show as an example that I made um, in a project I'm currently working on. Uh, and this is just a simple little cloud. Um, so the player jumps through, lands on top of the platform. Simple as. Okay, so let's delete that. And what we first need to do is create a blueprint class we need to select actor and let's call this C underscore one way so the first thing we want to do is go to the components and we need to drag in the sprite we wish to use so drag your sprite into the components area within the blueprint I click off that to make this full screen um, let's just get this white uh, root out of the way so it's not in the way um, so drag your sprite platform over to the root component so now it's in the center of the screen uh, the next component we need is a trigger box so go to add component and type in box there we go, box collision. We then need to resize and move this appropriately. So above, we want it about the same, the same X scaling as the platform and slightly above the character. So slightly above the character. We want it slightly above the uh, grass. We also want to disable collision initially for the sprite platform. So we go to collision, uh, collision presets, and click no collision. So right now we've just got a a platform with no collision and a trigger box above it. So next we want to go to the event graph. Click highlight your box, <laughs> highlight your box. Right click in the event graph, add event for box, collision, add on component begin overlap. And we, we want to cast this to our character blueprint so that only the the uh, character triggers the collision. So BP, mine is BP char, cast the BP char. We then need a reference to the sprite we want to enable collision for. And that is obviously the um, the grass platform that I included. Um, we want to drag off this sprite and we want to type, what is it again? Set, not insert, set collision, yep, yeah, set collision enabled, there we go. Um, Put that there so now we should have oh hang on I need to enable collision obviously set collision enabled compile so if we drag in our our new class what happens now is it should be it should initially have no collision which it doesn't and but if we go on top of it it does have collision but what we still need to do is remove the collision when the player comes out of the trigger box. So we need to go back into the event graph and we need to again highlight box, uh, add event for box, collision, comp component end overlap this time. And let's just copy and paste these two. The and let's just use the same node for this so obviously here when the player comes away from the trigger box we want to again disable the collision so no collision compile and this should be good to go okay so yep we come off the platform and we still got no collision but until we jump off so what's happening here is that 
the player is obviously within the trigger box, so the collision is always enabled whilst the player is overlapping the box. The player comes off the trigger box and the collision is no longer enabled. But as soon as the player jumps back into the collision box, it's done. So yeah, there we go. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, it's pretty much as easy as that. I'm sure there's other ways to do it as well, but this is the way I've I've been using it for my game, and it's the way I'll probably will use it for for quite a while. So I've not had any problems so far. So yeah, um, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.